House of Lords on a day when the Prince of Wales brought royalty and youth to its rich and lofty chamber. For the full assembly, in their scarlet robes trimmed with ermine, were to witness a brief ceremony which would entitle the Prince to take his seat. The Duke of Kent was one of his sponsors, the other, the Duke of Beaufort. In the robing room, the 21-year-old Prince, resplendent in his newly made robes, displayed the calm with which he has now become associated on big occasions. When the moment arrived for the Prince and his escort to enter the chamber, where cameras are forbidden, he was enacting a rare piece of history. For this was only the second time in more than a hundred years that a Prince of Wales was to take his seat in the upper chamber. It is 52 years since his uncle, now the Duke of Windsor, took this path. Preceded by his coronet, born on a velvet cushion, the Prince entered yet another aspect of his busy royal life. After swearing allegiance to the Queen, the Prince took his seat on the cross benches, signifying his political neutrality. The peers who crowded their chamber welcomed the royal newcomer. 